Hey all you zealots and zerglings, it's time for a 2 versus 2 on the map Discord 4. This is another replay sent to me by Spartan, who has spawned in the bottom right corner as the Red Protoss, with his ally, Mike the Blue Zerg. Their opponents up in the upper left hand corner is Redemption X, the Purple Protoss. And Woody Wood, the Teal Protoss. So we got a couple of Protoss here, not necessarily the strongest 2v2 team. Uh, Zerg Protoss is actually pretty good. They have some good good synergy. I mean, you get a good uh, Ling Stalker composition, it can do a lot of damage. And then transition to maybe some Colossus, you know, you might need Roaches if you need a little more beef, or uh, Infestors can be great, or Mutal. Oh, Mutals are fantastic, but you know, I think they make a good, a good combo, so we'll see if it works out here in this game. So we have Redemption X going to be scouting their base, you know, pretty early on. And wow, he's got all sorts of scouting points set up right now. He's going to be all over this base. What is he going to see? Doesn't look like he's going to see too much right now. There's not. There's a pool on the way here for Mike, but no, uh, no unexpected tech right just yet. So I'm not sure what the point of all these points are, unless it's just to keep the probe moving for as long as possible. Not actually trying to scout any tech yet, because that'd be a bit early. And of course Spartan's going to be scouting over here, and he's not going to see anything either, just a gateway here, and does Woody Wood not have a gate up yet? He's got a pylon out here, and a pylon back here, but no gate. I don't like this is a 12 gate, so, but still, two pylons into a gate? I think it's going to put his, his tech a little bit behind everyone else. I can throw the production tab up there so you can all see what's going on without having to yell at me to move a map over there. Oh, and are we going to get, oh, no, that, that was one of their probes, and that's Spartan, he's going to pop here, I guess, check this expansion. Is he going to sit there? Maybe throw up a proxy? Doesn't have a forge on the way. Doesn't have a cybernetics core on the way, so I don't see any proxy. I guess he's just going to have the probe sit here. Maybe watch for the expansion timing. So I think it's, this is a nice expansion to take. I mean, it's kind of a long distance from your mains, and it's a little difficult to defend with all these entry points here, but it's better than then the next base after that, because you either got to go way over here and take this base, which has way far out. you got to go here and take the goal, which is right in the center of the map. is always going to get hit. Or you got to take one of these little side bases, which take forever to get to for either team. Oh, and we got a forge coming out here for Woody Wood. Put it at the front, and then it's core. i got to tell you, I'm a bit puzzled by this build. And Smart scout again. I guess he scouted again with that same probe. So he's going to see the forge. He's going to hopefully saw the cybernetics core. Grab that probe. He did see it go down. He may not know whether or not it's a cybernetics core, but I don't know. Pylon, pylon, gate, forge, core. And only now putting down his first cannon. This just seems highly irregular. And perhaps a waste of money if there are no ling timings coming, and it doesn't appear that there are any. It looks like Mike's going to go straight into roaches, not even going to get that zergling speed, despite the fact that it is a beautiful upgrade. And looks like Spartan's going to be going for three gate right now, unless he's got some tech near his base. Nope, just getting a single gas. It's going to be probably pretty zealot heavy, though, if he doesn't get another refi or another assimilator up. So he wants to get, want to get on that. These gates are going to be coming up, and he's not going to be able to afford anything but zealots. So definitely needs to take a second gas. Yeah, Discord... Four for such a for a two v two, it's kind of a large map. It does take a while to push out to your opponents, so it can lend itself to slightly more macro intensive games. But then again, everyone is so afraid to actually move out of their base that that doesn't always happen. They just kind of mine out and then get desperate for expansions. And if you can just knock out expansions, you're in pretty good stead. And it looks like we're going four gate here for Redemption X. Redemption X, his warp gate research is almost done. Is he going to start churning out a bunch of units? Quite possibly. No warp gate research started here for. Uh, Woody Wood, who has no gas coming in right now, just now getting the simulators up. He is definitely way behind in the tech, and that is definitely going to hurt them. As we, <coughs> excuse me, as we have army production going here for Mike and Spartan, and once they once they get started, they could be very hard to catch up to again. But income is also very important in this game. Looks like they're all fairly even. Mike definitely needs to get some more drones out. A absolutely does. But Spartan is a bit in the lead right now, but only by just a little bit. If he keeps on that macro, though, he could probably do pretty well for himself. But he's not currently producing any probes. Oh, nope, there's some probes. Oh, but he's supply blocked. It looks like he pylon just finished, but he just needs, I think he needs to throw down another one right away. And he does, so that is good. And oh, he's got a proxy pylon over here. Is he maybe going to get some 
close warp ins? I, I don't know. And he's still keeping up on his macro, trying to stay in the lead. Redemption X not doing bad either. And we got a Robo Bay coming out for him, which is kind of odd off of one base four gate into Robo Play. And he's got the Twilight Council. I'm not sure what kind of build he's going here. Pretty small army. I mean, if we look at the army sizes, um, Mike and Spartan have about 100, well, that's about 99 to 68. Ooh, so they are way behind. And still no gas for Woody Wood? Okay, well, now we're getting some gas up, but he is way behind right now and now he's going into going into a five gate trying to chrono boost out the warp gate technology seems a bit late for that though and we do have zell x coming for redemption x i'm still not sure what he's doing what's he I was gonna get an observer out and maybe all he's gonna get out maybe the only reason he got this this uh robo up and oh we're gonna see stargate technology here for woody wood which wait a minute first of all he's on one base second of all he's got five gates Third of all, his gas is so absurdly late that it's just not even funny. And he's getting and he's getting warp gate technology. I don't really know what path Woody Wood's going here. And then we're gonna get the Dark Shrine for Redemption X, who's going four gate into Robo, into Twilight Council, into uh, DTs apparently. And Spar looks like he's warping in some units over here. Are they gonna get ready for a push? He's got another small contingent over here. I think they're getting ready. Here comes some roaches for Mike. No upgrades yet. We're just starting the plus one attack here for Spartan. We even have an, we don't even have an Evo Chamber for Mike. I really would highly recommend he get that Evo Chamber and get that Roach. Oh, he is getting the Roach Speed. Okay, so he's getting that. But I definitely would like to see... Oh, and I saw some Dark Templar getting warped in. Where are they at? Where are those DTs? Here are those DTs. As if to say, I really hope they don't have detection. We have detection. And does Spartan have a Robo Bay? He does not have a Robo Bay, so they are not going to be able to see this. He's going to get some cannons up, so they won't get their base won't get jumped, but... Their armies could be in severe danger if they do not get some detection out on the field. And I don't think there's any overlords out in the map, so there's not going to be any potential for overseers at all. But we do have Mike trying to get up to expansion. He really needs to start saturating that. He needs to start making drones as soon as he can. He's, here comes a transfer, or a transfer. He just started making some units, and uh, it looks like they're getting ready to poke in there, see what they can do. But with all these DTs, it could not it could end badly for them, but they're not going to engage right now. With DTs, they can do all sorts of damage, and there's just there's no detection right here. So even if they wipe out all these units, these DTs are just going to tear them apart. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but in this stage of the game, I think the DT damage the DTs are going to do is going to be significant. And here comes some reinforcements here from Woody Wood, who has not yet been able to get out his Stargate technology, and now he's going for Colossus Tech. Woody Wood, what are you doing? Apparently he thinks the way to win is to get every building in the game, and still these DTs are going unchecked. Three kills on that one. Um, I can't really click on any of these. Oh, there's three kills. There's got to be more than three kills on some of these, but got uh, four kills on that one, and they're going to clean this up. Oh, we still got. They're going to take out that uh, simulator, but this nexus is going to remain. So they definitely got to get detection out. This Twilight Council is not equate detection. Spartan, I don't know, and he's going to be expanding over here, taking this base, going to get a cannon up, that'll keep any DTs from sneaking in, and it looks like, oh, these DTs are going to counterattack, but surprise, surprise, they're going to have a cannon here at the front door, so they're probably not going to get very far, and an overseer out for Mike, so that'll help tons, but they're going to need one of those in their army next time, or an observer. And now we're getting Void Rays, he got, wait, did he make any Colossus? Where's his Robo? There's his robo. He he's he got the Colossus tech and now he's making a void ray. And did I miss those DTs dying? I think I missed those DTs dying. No, well, I don't know where those DTs went. I pay attention to what someone's doing and I and I miss everything, but just I don't know what build he's going here, and we're gonna get a spire up for Mike, which will be great. These void rays are gonna be null and void because this guy is just Woody just doesn't have the macro. He's not going to be able to survive this. And ringing his minerals with cannons, so any void ray or any mutilus harass is probably going to be stopped short. And Spartan getting up a lot of cannons, getting his zealot legs, uh, getting level. Wait, oh, level one armor, level two attack. Sorry, his screen shifted. I'm like, I thought he already got level one attack. It better be done by now. He's always queuing up a lot of pros, but he doesn't have an expansion to send them to. Redemption X is, is slowly saturating this. He definitely needs to get more probes out there. If we check the income right now, 
Oh, wait, oh, that's just an observer. I think they spotted it, tried to damage it, but it is going to get away. But the income right now, they're all still pretty even, though. But again, Mike is, is really behind. He needs to catch up. And now uh, Woody and Redemption are taking the income lead. Spartan Mike, you can't let them run away with it. If they get better income, you're going to be in some big trouble. And we're getting some blink out here for Redemption X, who's going to get Colossus tech of his own. Maybe. Oh, and we are going to get a Colossus out for Woody Wood. What kind of army does Woody Wood have? He has a Void Ray, a Colossus, and 12 Stalkers. By far the most unusual combination I've seen. And we're getting a Warp Prism here. Is he going to be trying to... Is he going to try to sneak some Dark Templar in the back door? Oh, wait, he's already got a Warp Prism out. Oh, nope, sorry, that's a Unit's Tap, not the Production Tap, so that was the same Warp Prism. Maybe he's going to do Colossus Drops, but we'll definitely have to wait a long time for that. Getting out Double Forge right now. Spartan's still kind of building the force here. He's going to take out any probes to try to take this expansion, which so far is none, but once they're spotted, they're probably going to have to get out of there because they'll be able to... should be able to take care of this. Well, you never know. He does have Blink, and he does have upgrades. That could make a difference. And finally getting a Robo out. I wonder if he's going to go into Colossus or if he thinks they definitely need some Observers out there. Thermal Lance upgrade coming in for both our northern Protoss friends, and Woody Wood's going to be taking this space, but he definitely has got to get that saturated as soon as possible. He's going to need money quick. This space is quickly running out, and he can't... I mean, yeah, he just doesn't even have the gas to do anything in what he wants right now. He just needs to start making zealots, because that's about the only thing he can do. Oh, we're getting Infestation Pit and Burrow here for Mike, so he's going to be going for some Infestor Harass, or maybe just, you know, wants to get some Burrow for some Infestors, so... Although, does he have that roach? Does he have Tunnel and Claws for his roaches yet? Does not, but I'd like to see him start that upgrade. He definitely can afford it, so I would like to see him get that as soon as possible. And level 3 ground attack coming up here for Spartan. Level 3 attack is so powerful on Protoss. They just do so much damage. And it looks like Spartan's about ready to take this base, which kind of probably is going to... I expect him to cannon up this. I, I don't know if it's necessary, although with this map it's so hard to move around that maybe, maybe you almost have to. And now we're finally getting Zergling Speed and Corruptors, which with the slowly growing Void Ray count, or the Colossus count, that might be a good idea. And I see more DTs warping, and I don't see them anywhere... I don't see any purple out here on the map, so I'm guessing it's just kind of warping in over here. And they do have some Colossus out. Do they have any upgrades of their own coming? Getting plus one here for uh, for Redemption X. But both teams are kind of just sitting back right now. No one's really... We're, uh, no one's really uh, ready to poke in, and we're getting... It looks like a... Mike's going to be switching up into some Zergling play, kind of giving up on the... Well, he's getting the Talon Claw, so maybe he's going Ling Roach, which it can't it can work. Ling Roach Corruptor might be good. There are they're not a lot of sentries, so the Lings can do a lot if they can focus down these Colossi, which will be the key, and they got to do something about these DTs, which will absolutely rip through... Well, they'll rip through everything. And it looks like Mike's going to be taking expansion. It looks like he's going to be pulling, it's taking this expansion, which is good for now while you've got this army buffering you. But if this army goes down, you're going to quickly, and this force is probably enough to take that army down, then you're going to quickly find yourself in big trouble and your base way exposed. But we'll have to see if it works. Both sides are very tenuous. No one wants to poke in and see what the other is doing. And it looks like we got Hive Tech. It looks like we're going to be seeing some Broodlords coming out now. So, Roachling Broodlord, perhaps? I don't know. Has anyone improved their income right now? It looks like Spartan's at 51. Definitely still needs to be getting some probes out, though. Redemption X is the same. Mike's still way behind in the drone count, which I think is going to hurt him, despite the fact that he's got quite a bit of money saved up, which definitely needs to be spent. But once he starts making Broodlords, that money is going to disappear quickly, and he's going to find himself broke. So he definitely needs to get stuff. He definitely needs to pump out some drones and try to get going and get those adrenal glands. So he's definitely getting the adrenal glands. Very nice upgrade, right? I, I, I love to get the adrenal glands. Sometimes it's hard to remember that after your hive's done and the greater spire is started. Getting out more corruptors. So he's definitely going for that broodlord tech. And oh, these armies are so close to each other. How close are they actually seeing them? A little far off. Can the stalkers see out this way? Well, no, they can't see each other. So, But they're so close. If this void rage just moved over here, it would reveal this army. And the mayhem would probably begin, or Spartan's army would just quickly retreat. And he's getting, he's only getting the shield upgrade right now. What are his upgrades at right now? And he's at three two, so definitely some really great upgrades against. Well, he we got one one here for redemption, but Woody Wood has no upgrades at all, and it seems to be going into pure Colossus right now. And Spartan's going to poke around here, but if you look up here, you would see this base is completely undefended and a lot of juicy probes that we could just absolutely destroy. 
It looks like Redemption X is going to be taking the goal at the center of the map. No one's pushed out in the center for quite some time, so this could be a safe mood. And move. And now we're getting a Twilight Council for Woody Wood. Oh, and he's going to get that Observer sniped. He was not paying attention, but he is going to reveal this expansion, and they may want to send some zealots down there to take it out because they could absolutely destroy it and he is mined out here he's got nothing but he's got 20 minerals here and we gotta oh looks like mike's gonna move his corruptors over here probably to get him closer for spawning him into brood lords oh but we got a big push out here for redemption x is he gonna be heading for this expansion he could find himself completely surrounded by an army and well, well no he's guess he's just moving he wants to be able to be, make sure he can defend this expansion but any moment he could go poking around. But he could find an army over here at his back door. Oh, where is he going? Oh, is he going to poke up here? He's going to see this expansion. These corruptors. Well, they can take out the Colossi, but we need to get this army down here for Spartan. Spartan, you got to pull your army down here because he's going to get these corruptors. Or he's going to get the Colossi taken care of. But here we go. He's going to pull in there. And these looks like these Colossi are all going to go down. And here comes Woody Wood a bit late. I don't know if it was. Although, I don't know if Spartan hasn't finished this off yet. He could be in some trouble don't bring the yeah you gotta bring those corruptors back to take out those those colossi this is definitely a must because he's stuck in here in a choke he's taking a lot of splash damage but no the corruptors are gonna leave he's gonna pull the corruptors out he's gonna try to make them broodlords but they're basically sacking this army and this base when you could have taken out these colossi and been in pretty good position so this base is gonna go down we checked in this loss yeah, I mean, Spartan and Mike have lost quite a bit. So has Redemption X. Woody Wood doesn't really have anything and came in the tail end of that battle when a lot of the damage had already been done. But and getting plus two attack, he definitely seems to be... Well, I guess he might be getting that for the for the Broodlings. Now, the Adrenal Glands he got... Well, he got the Adrenal Glands. That suggests he wants to go Zerglings, but... Because the uh, Broodlings do not get the Adrenal Gland upgrade. They only get the melee and ground armor upgrades. Now we got a lot of Broodlords back here, but you gotta be careful. There's still Void Rays around, I thought. I don't know where the Void Rays went. But those Broodlords are really stuck out there. They've got no defense if something happens. It looks like they're gonna be pushing forward. Is that a good idea? I don't know. There's a lot of them. There's a few mortals here, but they will go down pretty quickly to this army. So I don't know if I agree with pulling these immortals. Where are those immortals going? I guess they're going to head over here, because Spartan's trying to refortify this base. Oh, and these Immortals are going to try to catch some of these Stalkers, which that's going to spur an attack. And these Stalkers don't have Blink, so they have no way of getting out of there, and Woody Wood just lost a ton of Stalkers needlessly, and you might want to take out that Pylon. I might want to send something there. You might want to send something there to take on that Pylon. Oh, and those Zealots are kind of getting caught out there by themselves. That was not good. Oh, yeah, I guess he was trying to take out the Pylon, but oh, here come the Broodlords. And these stalkers do have blink, but are they going to be able to use it? But the broodlords are out by their own. I mean, there, there's going to be the blink forward. And these broodlords are going to get focused down. And there's no detection, so the DTs are just going to be sitting there. Well, they're going to be sitting there sniping broodlings for a little while. Spartan's going to blink down there, take out the last Colossi, but they need detection. And I don't know what these sentries are doing other than getting themselves killed. And I don't know what that Colossus is doing. There's no, no anti-air left here. It's just going out there and getting itself killed. And then these Immortals are going to chew up these Stalkers. Oh, it just looks like just the engagement that Mike and Spartan needed. I was a little worried a second, but they still need to get some detection out here. These DTs are going to completely destroy their ground army. Where's the detection? I don't see the detection. But it looks like this gold expansion is going to go down to the Broodlords. I'm surprised if the Broodlords survived. They must not have been focusing them down effectively. But still, these DTs... And now the DTs are going to go to work on the Broodlings, which is a losing battle. All it's going to do is slow down the damage. It's not going to... It's not going to hurt Mike any to lose some Broodlings. And that is not detection. We need detection here. How about put an Overseer with your Broodlords at the very least? I mean, I suppose you can morph these into Archons and do some damage, but I bet they would probably be dead before they finish completing. The second they start morphing into an Archon, they're going to be spotted. Redemption X is going to try to take out these Stalkers, the Broodlords, or the Broodlords. The Broodlords might have overstayed their welcome, although they're doing a pretty good job against these Stalkers. They do have a plus two attack, though. And Spartan's going to throw away more of his army because they still don't have detection up here, and he's going to pull back. They need to get some detection out there, and it looks like Mike's going to try to retake this base. Spartan's going to take his forces over here and snipe this expansion, which could be devastating to Woody, because he's not going to have any income after that. 
And well, don't waste your time on the assimilator. Take out the probes. Take out the... Yeah, there you go. Moving in, he's going to take out those probes. And what are they going to do about it? Here comes some stalker DTs, but it's going to take them a while. Most of these probes are going to be dead before they get over there. And, whoa, transferring these drones right into an army. Not a smart move. And there's, well, there's some corruptors and some more drones that are going to get themselves killed. And he's going to try to push up here. There's a couple of cannons. It's probably not going to be enough to stop this force, but right now... Woody's losing his army. Here, here's his void rays. I don't know where these have been. Oh, he's going to bring some Colossi in, too. He's smart. You've got to position your units better. Oh, but he's going to be surrounded. He's probably going to lose those forces, but he did do a lot of damage. And trying to snipe those those photon cans, but there's a lot of cans around here, and they won't be able to get them all without running all over the base, but he's running out of an army to defend this with. He might want to pull these probes back to this expansion because he doesn't want to get all his probes killed. And here come the Brewlers. That'll help a lot to help clean this up, but only if they can get detection in here. And can they see these DTs? They can see... They can see... Yeah, I can't, I guess I can't, they can't see the DTs. I'm trying to help. They were just kind of slipping in and out of range, but it looks like they were able to see... The, oh, no, they can't see them all, though. But the second they come down here, here come the Broodlings! And that is going to completely mess with the... With the uh, no, one DT is going to escape. One DT will escape. We check the losses right now. The losses are mounting a lot for both sides. Redemption X now has taken a ton of damage. And even Woody's starting to get up there a little bit. Spartans lost a lot too. I'm surprised Mike was able to keep those Broodlords up. It's really hard to keep Broodlords around with Blink Stalkers with upgrades. But I guess there just weren't enough Stalkers to do any damage. Oh, we have a counterattack going down here. Here are all the Void Rays and Colossi. Are they going to be able to stop this? There's no way the Broodlords are going to get down there in time. These Roaches are going to get completely roasted by these forces. What are they going to do? This is a lot. They're going to have to try to take out. Of course, there aren't any upgrades on any of it, so that'll help because they will have the upgrade advantage. But and the Roaches will probably do pretty good against the Stalkers. But they, yeah, they got to focus down the uh, Void Ray. Where's the Colossus? The Colossus is still in there. So we gotta focus that down, then focus down the void rays, and yeah, I guess they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be just fine. I, yeah, they'll be fine. And here comes Redemption X trying to help out, but he's got some Broodlords on his tail. Still got this DT alive. 24 kills. He is an Executor DT. This is an Executor DT. Oh, but there's an Overseer, and that DT's num days are numbered. 27 kills before he goes down, and then his bodies will be following shortly thereafter. But Redemption X is not ready to give up. He's going to be double expanding and probably the only places that are safe. I guess he could try to take the gold, but I don't, I don't know if he could swing that or not. It's hard to say. And still, well, I guess that armor upgrade will work for the roaches that he obviously had, but still he got those Ling upgrades, and I have not seen a Ling from him at all. Unless they died somewhere and I didn't see, but he got the Adrenal Glands, which implies he's not getting these upgrades just for his Broodlings. We we'll have to see, and we check the income right now. Spartan is now well into the lead. Could still use, I think, a bit more saturation, I think. Although, with resources are probably starting to get pretty thin. And, well, looks like Mike's going to be taking this expansion. His Broodlords have been doing a great job. Regardless of their speed and the fact that they have no uh, anti-air or any ground support, they've been doing fantastically. And he's been able to at least mostly get them where they needed to be, but if they don't spot these expansions, Redemption X could rebuild quickly, and Woody, well, he's got this base. It's not going to be much he's going to be able to, now he's going to get Blink for his Stalkers. And it looks like Mike's going to ask him if he wants the gold. I don't know if he's talking about this gold that he would negate. No, he's talking about this other gold, which I guess is what Spartan wants to do. Kind of cutting the map in a, in a weird half along this diagonal. I've never seen that before, but with those two taking the gold, that could be very powerful for them. And it looks like someone had a probe there to take the gold. That's not going to happen. And when we check the army sizes right now, Spartan and Mike are at about 224 against 144, so they have a huge army advantage. A pretty big income advantage, especially Spartan. And I think they they got definitely got better upgrades. Oh, he could get some upgrades on those Broodlords, although he's really low on gas. He needs to get this... Whoa. Someone, those Broodlings saw something. But he needs to take these gases right away. He's got a ton of minerals. He just needs a lot of gas. He needs to be throwing down extractors right now. And it looks like Redemption X was going to try to take that expansion. That is not going to happen. Where are all these... What on earth was here that got killed? Was there DTs here or something? I, 
That's an awful lot of broodlings. Although he has an awful lot of broodlords, they all shot at one thing. And here come the void rays. We're gonna need those stalkers, Spartan. Before all these broodlords go down, you need these broodlords. Spartan's got you. Got to blink in there, Spartan. You've got to blink. Just blink under those brood. Blink, blink under those void rays. Blink, blink. You have blink. Use it. And don't. You don't want to get too. You could have had all those probably all those void rays dead. And the observer is there, so these DTs are not going to be nearly the threat they've been all game. But we got to do something about this colossi. Get the, yeah, get the broodlords on those. And there comes some stalkers. That's not going to be enough. And the Colossi are focused on the brood things, letting these stalkers get in good position to start sniping them. That was not good focus firing there. And now these Void Rays are underneath all the stalkers, and they're going to get quickly sniped. I think we're seeing the end right here, right now. They're starting to hit their infrastructure. We're losing the Cybernetics Core. Losing a Forge, or at least one Forge. And there's a counterattack coming. Now these are just probes that are trying to desperately run for their lives. These Broodlords are in the main base now, and I don't know what he's getting Zealots for. Zealots are not going to do you any good against Broodlords. Neither is that Colossi, so I... Although Woody... Well, he has some gas left, but I don't think there's much they can do now. And there's that Warp Prism. Never seemed to do anything. Maybe he forgot he had it, and their tech structures are going right now. We're getting five Stargates for Redemption X, who decides... Why don't I just make massive void rays? Where are those gates at? There they are. I figured that's where they were at, but he's losing his tech structures fast. Doesn't have any upgrades for it either, which could put him way behind in a battle. And Spartan just keeps getting up stalkers. There's nothing those void rays are going to be able to do. He's not going to be able to get void rays up in time. He does. No, he doesn't even have all that much money saved up. He's going to need a ton of minerals, which he can probably get from his ally here. But he's not going to be able to afford to make any void rays. But yeah, no, Woody's going to drop from the game. And there goes Redemption X. So there was the push. I hope you enjoyed that game, and have a day.